Hey guys, I want to do a little video for those of you that don't know. I'm Donald Sayawani. I'm running for Florida's governor. I've just filed a federal lawsuit in federal court. You can Google it. Um, look through the links because it is publicly available. You will find the whole 100, 800, the whole 800 page complaint. It's called Sayawani vs. Darenthal. S-E-O-A-N-E vs. Darenthal. D-E-R-E-N-T-H-A-L. And I am suing Governor Ron DeSantis, corrupt Judge Holly and Darenthal, corrupt Judge Christy Collins, and um, corrupt Judge Lisa T. Munion in the Osceola County Kissimmee Courthouse, okay, that have violated countless uh, U.S. constitutional rights, Florida judicial canons that they swore under oath to abide by. Uh, they are. Com they're committing felonies like you wouldn't believe, including felony conspiracy, assisting in felony perjury, and on and on and on. That's who I am, folks. I've, my federal lawsuit is suing 27 people. I think 25 of them are females. I am a retired adult actor in the adult industry, and that's why they're discriminating against me. I was falsely accused of domestic violence. I was falsely arrested and falsely imprisoned. I went in front of a jury. My wife got impeached as a witness, admitted to committing perjury, to get an injunction against me, and on and on and on. Uh, basically, all these leftist man-hating females have sided with my wife and participating in this felony conspiracy against me, calling me a woman beater and a sex trafficker and all this crazy stuff and a drug addict and just lunacy because they hate I'm a straight white male, retired adult movie actor that's running for governor. I'm a Christian. I'm studying the Bible. I'm studying law. I am representing myself pro se as my own lawyer. I filed not only that federal lawsuit that's historic, um, I filed several lawsuits. You can look up in the Osceola County court records under Donald Sayawani, S-E-O-A-N-E, -E, against DCF officers, child protection team, and forensic interview officers that have committed perjury and conspiracy and all the rest of it, including Marcos Lopez, the sheriff of Osceola County. Um, and like I said, there's 27 defendants in my lawsuit I'm suing. I'm getting ready to file a lawsuit Sayawani versus the state of Florida, Sayawani versus the Department of Children and Families, Sayawani versus the Osceola County Sheriffs, and on and on and on. Um, this is like a little video documentary of what's going on. I have been gag ordered not to post material to do with my children online, so I don't post this anymore. I'm just making videos. Somebody else will post this all over social media probably. Um, I want to put that on the record. Here, this one, Holly Darenthal fucking corrupt judge anyways um you know the, the amount of misconduct is unbelievable and i want to tell you what's happened today in the osceola county courthouse at 10 a.m as you can see online that led up to what's happened today there is literally felony conspiracy felony fraud felony this felony that there's you know there's like 20 felonies that have been committed that I've tried to file f uh, criminal complaints on with the Osceola County Sheriff's Office and, and deputies that they won't, they won't accept a criminal complaint on because police protect police, police direct judges, and on and on and on. It's a joke. So there was an illegal hearing that went on this morning. Um, it was illegal for several reasons other than constitutional rights violations of the judge being biased and, uh, and you know, impartial and the rest of it. She's being sued by me in federal court, attacked all over social media and videos and all the rest of it. There's a list of reasons why she cannot preside over my case, and she continues to. Um, but more than anything, there's a felony conspiracy going on. And let me teach you something. When you have a judge that is participating in felony conspiracy, assisting in the crimes of felony perjury by individuals and covering evidence, this is literally a third degree felony under conspiracy. And when you report it to the sheriff's office, they are obligated to do their job, take a federal, uh, 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 a criminal complaint from you and document it, assign a detective to the case 
and prosecute, try to prosecute it and send it to the state attorney's office for prosecution, if not make arrest on the spot. So I documented a long criminal complaint against all these people, including judges, of what's going on at 10 a.m. this morning. And what do you think? You think the sheriffs are going to go out there and arrest the judge and everybody in the courtroom participating in this felony conspiracy and felony perjury and the rest of it? Hell no, they're not. But I've documented it all on email. I've served it all to them. I called the non-emergency number this morning on my way to court, requesting a deputy to meet me and witness a crime. It's a long story. I'll probably make a couple of videos about this so you can, you can hear the whole story. So when I walk into the courthouse, I go through the metal detectors, and before you get into the elevators, off to the left are two Osceola County Sheriff's Office in uniform with guns and tasers and badges and all the rest of it. And I confront them and I say, listen, I'm Donald Sayawani, I'm running for governor, and I've just sued your sheriff and your boss, Marcos Lopez, in federal court. I've also sued um, three state court judges in this courthouse, you know, Holly Darenthal, Christy Collins, and the chief judge, Lisa T. Munion. I've sued the governor, and I'm running for governor while suing the governor and 27 people in total as defendants. I will sue you and the sheriff's office if you don't uphold your oath to the Constitution and do your job and come into the courtroom and witness felony crimes being committed by the judge and everybody in the courtroom on my wife's side, including lawyers and DCF and all the rest of it. I want to document and take a sworn statement under penalty of perjury, punishable by a felony from me. I am willing to sign it and prosecute this. I want you to arrest everybody. So the two sheriffs there, oh no, we can't do that. This is a civil matter. No, this is not a civil matter. This is a criminal matter. There are criminal felonies being committed in this courtroom today and I want you as a sheriff's office to prosecute it. So Officer Carrera, he knows who I am for two years. He's been involved in some of this stuff. And the office, other officer as well has been in the courtroom in some of this stuff. So we can't do this, da-da-da. I said, yes, you can. If you don't, you're going to be personally, federally sued as well by me, unfortunately, and the sheriff's office. So the one guy gets on his phone. He makes a phone call. It's like 10, 20 seconds. They already knew who I am. They already knew I was on my way there. I already called the non-emergency number. He says, well, Mr. Sewani, yes. There's actually a deputy en route to come and meet with you in the courtroom. Uh, great. A sheriff's, uh, a sheriff's officer pulls up in his patrol car right in front of the courthouse in front of us. We're downstairs. He walks in with his body camera rolling, the little red lights flashing. And I ask him, is your body camera rolling? I want to make sure your body camera's rolling because I'm going to get a public records request. And this is going to be made public by somebody else posting this all over social media because I'm under a gag order. So... I confront, the guy looks like a kid, you know, he just got into the police academy and I let him know the story and he tells me, well, I got more important things to do. I got emergencies in the cities that I needed to go attend to. So I turn around and I tell him, look, I'm going to sue you and the sheriff's office if you don't go document these crimes that are going to be committed in the courtroom and take my sworn affidavit and my criminal complaint against these people. And I had a big stack of papers of a written criminal complaint of all the previous crimes they've already committed, including... Uh, the 800-page federal lawsuit that I've sent to the sheriff, Sheriff Marcos Lopez, Captain Baker, Captain Mangione, and Captain Richardson, the three captains under Osceola County Sheriff of Osceola County. And I said, I want you to go and get that from them and attach it to this criminal complaint and take a sworn affidavit under penalty of perjury. If I'm lying, you can put me in jail for a felony of perjury. But you know I'm not lying. So since I'm not lying, I want you to go arrest the judge and everybody in the courtroom and investigate and put a detective on this case. So he says, oh, I got better things to do in the city. So I say, I'll tell you what, if I report that there's a robbery being committed down the road, and a bank robbery about to be committed down the road, will you go down and wait for the bank robbery to happen, which is a third degree felony, and will you witness the bank robbery and arrest the people that are committing felonies of bank robbery? Well, yes, of course I will. I said, well, why won't you go into the courtroom, witness the felonies that are being committed, third degree felonies, and arrest the judge and everybody in the courtroom? Well, the guy's like, uh, 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 uh. See, 